published novelist Joyce Miller wrote an article about an industry that had been booming from the bowels of entrepreneurship and exploding into the market with great force at the surface. She became a millionaire in 2022 by selling jars of her farts online, a business she started back in 2017. She supports her dreams with a proprietary fart jarring method along with an online course. All right, so here we go. Now, I have been looking. I have been looking for multiple revenue streams. I absolutely have. My <laughs> wife read this article and she's like, hey, have you seen this? I was like, have I seen what? She's like, this lady is selling jars of farts. And I stopped. I stopped everything that I was doing. I sat there thinking about the brilliance of that. So you've <laughs> captured an unadulterated fart in a jar. You've capped it up. You've 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 sold it to somebody. Now, what does that person do? <laughs> well, obviously, I mean, OK, OK. Now, there, there without a doubt, there's a certain demographic of individuals out there that like to hang out in truck stop bathrooms to smell people poo. All right. That's a fact. <laughs> I know it's it's weird, but people get their little jostles off doing weird shit sometimes. OK, so you got a demographic of people like that. But typically you're going to take that jar of farts and you're going to have it sent to your enemy. Is what you're going to do in the hopes that they unscrew that jar, take a whiff and start to gag <laughs> right there immediately. And I was thinking, because I've got to be honest with you guys. If the color black could have a smell, that would be my farts. <laughs> I'm just saying if despair had a smell, that's what comes out of my rectum. That's it. I just want you to know, and it's, it, it goes, I talk about my, I talk about this stuff all the time to the family. You know, I'll go and I'll, I'll use the restroom, the number two on the porcelain throne. I'll go and use the restroom and I'll come back out and I'll sit down in the den and they'll look at me because they know that shit's coming. They'll look at me and they'll say, what? You have no idea. You have no idea. That was like, that was like a Mack truck. <laughs> Just, just came out of my off. ass. Exactly. I take. How did you know? I yes, yes. I take my shirt off. I, like I go naked. I go completely naked. I absolutely <laughs> do. And I and I grasp my hands and I push and pull and plead and beg and pray and scream and cry and bargain and grunt and groan. I do all this stuff, and the smell oh, God. is something else. It is. I have I've had people that come in the bathroom after me and I've heard them gag. <laughs> and then I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, that that is the true definition of happiness right there. Another one is when you're riding in the car and I'll reach over and I'll hit the window lock button and nobody'll know it. I'll hit the window lock button, I let out that SBD, that silent yeah. but deadly, and I just sit there driving. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, one of them will look at me and say, you did it, didn't you? And I, it's, I just start cackling right there. Like, <laughs> and then they try to try to roll down the window and they can't. <laughs> and then the anger ensues. You must now be imagine, in prison. <laughs> I know. Imagine a business where you're able to, to actually bottle that fart. So in my trip down the rabbit hole, I actually started to look about how does one go about capturing an unadulterated fart to sell? And this is it. This is it. So now, now walk through this because I'm not sure that the person who wrote this article really understands this. So, so I'm, I'm a six foot four individual. All right. I go 250 pounds and they're saying that what you have to do is you have to get in the water and you fart underwater and you capture the fart in the jar. OK, so it displaces the water that's in the jar. You right. capture the fart that's in the jar. Now, now, my thing is, is first of all, where do I get a bathtub big enough that I can lay on my stomach with my ass in the air, <laughs> fart, hold the jar, capture the capture the fart in the jar? That's going to be difficult to begin with. Right. I'm just saying I'm I'm thinking about this logically all of a sudden. All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm not I'm not sure you can do that. So maybe. And bear with me on this. Maybe the best idea is to get one of those, you know, butt bongs. Oh, mm -hmm. that's nice. Yeah. See, you shove the tube up your back. That's classy. Ass. That's right. And the tube goes directly into the jar. Maybe the jar's got water and the tube will, you know, displace the water at that point, And you're mm -hmm. able to capture it at that point. Now, how much should we charge for a jar of farts? 
See, this is stuff you got to think about. How much should you charge? And and not only that, but let's be honest. There are different types of things that you could use that would give different undertones to the fart that's being bottled. You could eat sauerkraut. (laughs) (laughs) You've thought about this a lot. I have. You know, you could, you could, you could, you could could have a whole diet of legumes that way, you know, pinto beans. That's, that's the kind of stuff that you want. You would want to be. There's an arrow (laughs) pointing. No, right? Like, fart this direction. (laughs) See? It goes up. It goes up. I don't, I don't know what else to say other than that. I'm just saying that, hey, if some people can make money on that, I'm just saying I'm tempted. I, I tell you what I did. I'm gonna, we'll close it out after this. But I, I, when I was married to my first wife, there's this place. I guess you, I don't know if they still got them or not. They're called Spencer's Gifts. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Those are okay. popular in the malls out here. Exactly. It's called Spencer's Gifts. You go in there and it was, you know, you'd buy your T-shirts, you'd buy your lava lamps, and then they'd have a little section that would titillate people as well. And uh, we were going on a vacation. It was me, my first wife, her two brothers, and her mom. So her two brothers were, you know, young teenagers at that point. So, Breddy, I bought a can of... Of 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 can, it was called canned bullshit. Was what it's oh, called. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. And we had that night in the hotel room. We had a canned bullshit fight, spraying it on each other, spraying it all over the hotel room, and everything else. <laughs> Little did I know, about three weeks after our vacation, I got a letter from the hotel <laughs> saying that I was barred for life oh, no. for having a fight with real feces in the room. <laughs> yes. And I got to tell you, I cackled and cackled, and I was so proud of that letter, but I'm still not allowed in that hotel to this day. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's my story there. Let's carry on.